Come on now, dawg. Come on, man. Oh, what's going on, G-Dot family? You already know it's your boy, G-Dot TZ, back with another VZ. Uh, let's go ahead and get straight into it, you dick. Now, today, we got, um, apparently, Wiz having got caught with a Glock with a Switch. Now, I don't know too much about Wiz having. I do know he has some songs like Boston Richie and other Florida artists, and I also understand that he had a decent music career. Like, it wasn't like he wasn't super mainstream or nothing, but he made decent songs and he had a decent fan base. So, for you to f*** all up, to have a Switch with you, you could have had a Draco and 50 Glocks and been okay, but you had a Switch with you? Oh, it's over with. So, let's go ahead and get straight into the video, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, guapboyg. and Twitter, guapboyg. Definitely don't forget to go to my Patreon either to get them uncensored reactions, not to this video, but to other busting ass, wild ass videos. I'm talking about a lot of videos. So, let's go ahead and get straight into it, man. Let's see what's going on. Eh. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, man, I'm rocking with y'all, y'all rocking with me, and for this video, we're going to be speaking on Florida rapper Wiz Haven getting caught with a switch. August 10th, 2023, the Alachua County Sheriff's Action Unit were monitoring traffic on the highway when they spotted a black Lincoln Navigator with dock tents. Right. Sheriffs began following the vehicle, watching it swerve in and out of lanes without turn signals. Pulling the vehicle over, Sheriffs made contact with the driver who was identified as 22-year-old Tariq Williams, but more commonly known as rising Tallahassee rapper Wiz Havin. With the window rolled down, the sheriff immediately detected a strong odor of marijuana. Wiz was told the reason he was stopped was because of his tents, which were found to be 17%. Mm. Wiz and his passenger, identified as Kiari McClure, both denied having medical marijuana cards. The officer would speak with both men, getting inconsistent stories, and a probable cause search would be conducted on the vehicle. A blunt would be found inside of an ashtray, and in the back were shoes and clothes that Wiz claimed were mostly his. In the area that stores tools for roadside assistance, the officer located a towel. Wrapped inside the towel were two handguns. Hold on, let me, let me go back and read that. Located two handguns, both handguns have been reported stolen. One of the handguns was a Glock, had an attachment commonly referred to as a Glock switch. A Glock switch is, oh my Jesus Christ. So y'all had two stolen pipes and one of them had a switch on them? The feds would have a field day with y'all dumbass. Also located a towel. Wrapped inside the towel with two handguns. A search of both serial numbers would reveal both guns were reported stolen, one of which was a Glock with a switch. The small auto sear attached to the rear of the slide converts the semi-automatic handgun into a fully automatic machine gun. And post Miranda, both men denied knowledge of the firearms. Well, well both of y'all can't deny knowledge of it, bro. One of y'all had to know, okay, here's the dumbass thing that people don't be understanding when you get yourself in these stupid ass situations. There's two people in the car. There's two guns. One of them has a switch. Which means there was two guns for two people, and one of them has a switch. So somebody has to take a knowledge of the switch, and someone has to take the fall for the switch. And if nobody wants to take the fall for it, guess who's going to get it? The driver. So if Wiz Haven was driving, it's over with for that nigga. A review and video of the patrol vehicle backseat camera, the officer observed Wiz make multiple statements, making it appear he had knowledge of the firearms. During the video, Wiz was very interested in which area officers were searching. At one point, he began praying and stating he hopes they don't open a particular area inside of the vehicle. Wiz would lean over Kiari to get a better view of what was being searched and would even apologize to Kiari for putting him in this situation. Wiz would assure him he'd be okay, but not him because he's already been convicted. When officers began removing items from the cargo area, Wiz asked Kiari if he thinks they found them. Because the only illegal items found in the car were two guns, it's believed Wiz was referring to the guns and therefore had prior knowledge of them. A quick look through the system would show Wiz was a convicted felon over a 2020 arrest. Back in August of 2020, Wiz was recognized through previous interactions by an officer in traffic who knew he didn't have a driver's license. 
His vehicle was pulled over and once again, officers smelled marijuana, searched the vehicle, and found two grams of cocaine along with rolling papers and weed paraphernalia. Why the hell is y'all riding around with coke? What's what, what is going on with Florida? What is going on with Florida rappers and having yayo on them? Why do all y'all niggas be having yayo on y'all? Like you really like, that's the, like, what? The case would end with Wiz being sentenced to 18 months of probation and him now being a convicted felon. But back to the original case. Because Wiz is a felon, he'd normally be charged with carrying a concealed firearm and possession of a machine gun for the Glock with the switch, but he wasn't. The vehicle Wiz was driving was a rental, and the weapons were found in a back compartment leaving room for officers to debate if the two men had actual knowledge of the weapons. Officers also had yet to review the dash camera footage from the police vehicle of Wiz talking. So the firearms were confiscated while Wiz and his friend were free to go, and officers sent the weapons in to be analyzed for fingerprints and DNA. 16 days later, Orlando police would spot the same black Lincoln Navigator with dark tints traveling through the city. The vehicle would be pulled over, and officers could smell burnt marijuana immediately as they approached the vehicle. Kiari McClure, the passenger from the Glock switch case, was now in the driver's seat along with three others in the vehicle including Wiz. A search of the vehicle would recover multiple designer bags of weed, two open containers of alcohol, and one of the men would claim ownership of two bags containing six grams of marijuana, while Wiz would tell officers the rest of the marijuana was his. So you are a convicted felon already. You just got caught with having two guns and one of them had a Glock with a switch on it. Well, one of them had a switch on it. It's a Glock. In it. One of them had a switch on it. Then they let you go. Nigga, I would have went to California. I would have went to Washington deep in the mountains and you would never have seen me again. Especially if I, I what? I'm, uh, okay. Then after that, you ride around in the same car, in the same city. Hold on. Pluto, you okay? But yeah, you got caught in the same city, in the same car, you just got caught with having dark ass tents, and then you had more drugs on you, and then you gonna claim the drugs as a convicted felon? You're stupid. The rest being approximately 57 grams, a felony amount in the state of Florida. But with Wiz taking ownership, he essentially spared everyone else in the car from a felony charge. Wiz would bond out for $1,000 and months would go by while Alachua sheriffs examined the Glock with a switch and found either a fingerprint or DNA belonging to Wiz. January 9th, 2024. Tallahassee police would take Wiz Haven into custody after Alachua County Sheriff sent out a warrant for his arrest. Wiz would officially be charged with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon and possession of a machine gun. Both crimes are punishable by up to 15 years in state prison each. But because he's a felon and the gun had a switch, it leaves room for the possibility that the feds could pick up the case, which surprisingly would result in less punishment, as a felon with a firearm and possession of a machine gun is only punishable by up to 10 years in federal prison. Either way it goes, Wiz is currently one of Florida's rising rap stars and is out on a hundred thousand dollar bond. Now I'm gonna say this for y'all that didn't pick up on it. Wiz a stand up dude. Wiz was in the back of the police car with his homie, not realizing that the camera in the back of the police car is recording. I don't know how many of y'all have been in the back of them, but sometimes where the glass wall is, there'll be like a little webcam looking shit right there recording you or the dash cam in the front where the police sit at. Either way, one of them picked up on him talking, looking at what the police were searching. And I mean, he shouldn't have said anything, but at the same time, he's panicking. If you got a Glock with a switch inside of your car and you're watching the police search your car, you are feeling an amount of anxiety and adrenaline that you- I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't wanna hit none of that shit. You should have I said nothing because you know as a street nigga there, there's cameras in this damn car, bro. It's 2024. We all know there's cameras in these goddamn cars. Like, come on. Let's be for real. On top of that, you're riding around with a stolen gun that has a switch on it. 
Why did you pull over? Like, I'm not finna forgive y'all no pass for that. You a stand-up nigga for taking a charge on the weed for sure. But if them niggas was really your homies, they would have been like, damn, bro got a felony already. Let me take the felony for this weed and we can just go about our day and he can be straight. Because, like, it's, it's a lot of fouls on the play in a lot, a lot of ways. But I don't know. Look, look. Stand-up nigga for goddamn is doing it. But the other nigga should have man, man, but the other nigga should have been man enough to be like, yeah, that's my shit, and took the charge too. Probably never felt before. Just getting searched by the police and having the police pull you over, and you know you got some shit in the car you ain't supposed to have. Your heart's already beating like crazy. So he's talking to his boy in the back, and this is the thing: nothing he said can affect his homie. He even apologizes to his homie. For putting him in this position. And his homie never got charged. The prince only came back to Wiz. But Wiz is in the back freaking out. They end up finding the guns. They let him go. They charge him with it later on. Two weeks later, Wiz gets picked up again. And this time he gets hit with a felony amount of weed. And this is the important thing in this situation. When you got multiple people in the car and the police find anything, if someone doesn't say it's mine, Everybody gets charged. In the state of Florida, anything more than 20 grams is a felony amount. 57 grams are on the table. Nobody's claiming it. One guy claimed six grams were his, but 57 is sitting right there. It's a felony amount of weed. And Wiz says, you know what? That's mine. And spares everyone else in that car from getting charged. But why wouldn't everyone else in the car just split it down the middle like you got this amount, you got this amount, you got this amount. You could have said it's all our weed and everybody would have called a felony, yeah. But like, 57 was yours? Come on, bro. Salute that shit. That's real. Because, yeah, it might be like, oh, he's supposed to take his charge. That's usually never how. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Most True. people just get quiet and look around and they don't want to be like, man, bro, take your charge because they're going to say that's snitching. But where's said if you know what, I'm gonna eat this shit, whether it was his or not. And he ended up catching the case for it. Now, I don't know if y'all in tune with his music, but that motherfucker got some shit. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's comfortable right now. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. You're stupid, cause you didn't even have to do that shit. You're riding around with a Glock with a switch and another stolen gun. You also got caught with, uh, like, come on, 57, is it 57 grams loud? And you took the I don't know what's wrong with y'all niggas, bro, but please stay out the streets, bro. Let's be an example to everybody. Stay out the streets. Focus on what you got going on and focus on what matters most, which is your money, your family, and getting close with God. Because this shit is stupid.